Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So, I've been hearing the song, Anita Baker, You belong to me. You belong to me. Mm-hmm. You belong to me. Somebody masculine saying, uh-uh. You belong to me. <laughs> Masculine say all of your friends know it. All of your family know it. Regardless of whatever's going on, you belong to me, Dennis. We gotta let your friends help you. Didn't I say all of your friends? <laughs> Codependency. This masculine is codependent on you. Okay. And so much shape of form. This this masculine cannot let you go. They'll do whatever they need to. They gotta get friends, your friends, their friends, whoever to come and get you. Then there that's what they're going to do. Okay. Some of y'all may have children or a child with this person, or this person could be focused a lot right now, currently on their child. I feel like somebody is trying to be, I feel like this masculine is in a very much so like um, young, free spirit type of energy right now. Very um, young. And then, the, yeah, this masculine say, it's, by the time he get back to you, the passion is going to be so freaking worth it. I feel like they're focused on children, okay? They're focused on, if they have children, they're focused on your, on their children. But they say, they, they ain't let you go, okay? But when they come back around to you, when they get back around to you, the passion is going to be so worth the wait. Ew, I wish I could play that damn song right now. But I don't want to get no copyright strike from messing around on YouTube. So, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, you belong to me. You belong to me. You belong to me. Y'all gonna listen to that song by Anita Baker. You belong to me. All right, give me a message for the collective. Show me this person energy. How does this person feel about divine feminine? I'm getting a sense they kind of like feel very bored with what's going on in their life right now. All right. If they're dealing with the karmic, they're bored. I just saw the Four of Cups. They're very bored and uninterested. Um, could be a little sad. Let's see what's going on. They feel like you could be dealing with somebody else. You're giving the, your attention to somebody else. And they're really surprised. Okay, they're really surprised that you're not paying. They feel like you aren't paying them any attention. Oh, look at that. The lovers, honey. You belong to me. <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell you, honey, this person say, what? I dug that four of cups again. This person, I'm going to say this. This person is juggling, okay? Now, they could be juggling another person. They could be juggling. Like I said, I did notice that children was there. If they have children, it looks like their focus is primarily on, like, their child or children. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and clarify this two of pentacles because I just want to see. I see a queen of wands right here, so I don't know. So, let's see. Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. They're juggling. 
they got a third party okay so knight of wands they're dealing with the karmic okay they're going back and forth between a third party but i'm here with the lovers why is the lovers here it could be a gemini two of cups okay so the lovers in into a cups. This person is definitely in love with you. Okay. Definitely. The challenge is letting you go. Okay. Six of swords. The challenge is closing the chapter, letting it go. Their intuition is telling them that, you know, they should have waited. Because they're still hanging on to it. The hangman and the six of swords. They're still hanging on to it. Their intuition is telling them that they, you know, may need to let you go. But they're still hanging around. Still waiting around. Still lingering around. Your energy is still um, lingering around. Okay. They thought this was going to be forever. Um, they didn't think that you and them were going to disconnect from each other. But this masculine... This masculine... It's the challenge is letting you go and closing the chapter. Okay, now this masculine now wants a new beginning. Okay, we got the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning. They want a new start, a new passion. And see, they want a new, they don't just want a new start. They want a passionate new start. But they could be afraid that, afraid of you uh, taking their uh, money from them. I feel like they hang on to materials. Like they try to hang on this for dear life for materials. They think that you are here to take, yep, yeah, take from them more than give. Okay, so they they're saying that the it's unrequited. Okay, they're afraid to get taken advantage of. I'm hearing this masculine could have been struggling when he was with you. This third party came in. It clearly says this third party came in and saved the day, basically. And it seems like you don't care. This masculine said they haven't seen you in a while. And they, you don't even come around or reach out to them no more. They're extremely surprised by this. They wanted to keep you around. But at the same time, they felt like, you know, stuck, but knowing that they need to walk away, like they were stuck in their head about what to do next. They're trying to block you out of their mind because they can't stop thinking about you. They're sitting here spying on you, sitting here spying on you. Because they know that they owe you some type of apology. They don't like what they see. This was the recent past. So they've been spying on you. And they don't like something that they've been seeing. Maybe you have a lot of other options. They feel like you got more. You've opened up. You have better, a better option to go to. And I'm hearing them say you feel like you think you could just leave like that. With no warning, no nothing. So they feel starting to feel betrayed. I do see that you and this person are not in contact with each other. Moving ahead in the future. Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. Y'all haven't spoken. This masculine saying he hasn't spoken. It looks like this person is surprised that you have, like, your glow up. Surprised that you're getting a lot of attention. 
uh, you're getting a lot of congratulations or job well done. You're doing well. They feel like you you going above and beyond. Um, all of a sudden. But the thing of it is, is they knew your potential. They knew that you that you would succeed. Okay, they knew your potential. But I see you spending. You're happy alone. Some of y'all are happy, and you work better alone. You get more things accomplished when you're by yourself. Cause you see the bigger picture. They don't. Um, and you don't got time to be talking about irrelevant stuff at this time. But they got a Queen of Wands here. Or an Aquarius. That's a third party to this situation. Yep. They are juggling. And I feel like they think that it's time to make some type of final decision. But they're afraid that it's going to slow their money down. Okay, so their their main focus is their finances. Okay. They feel like if they go back and forth, then it's going to be too 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 much uh, on their plate if they were to go back and forth. They know the right thing to do, but they're running away from it. But they say they can't run from the truth forever. They can't run from the truth for too long. I'm hearing this person say they're going to come back. They need to come back and apologize to you. But they're not sure um, when. Okay? They're not sure exactly when. But they know that they need to come back and apologize to you. So, they're dealing with a karmic right now. They're looking at... This karmic it seems like this karmic is helping them with their finances. Helping them get situated... But I don't see too much. I feel like this masculine is thinking of a way to disconnect from this karmic and try to find his way back to you. At least give you some type of closure or give you some type of apology. But I feel like this masculine left. I feel like when y'all split, it, was, it wasn't on the best of terms. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're interested in booking a personal, guys, personal readings are $25 for a limited amount of time. They will not be $25 for long, okay? They will not be $25 for long. I charge $67.77 for my personal readings. Right now, this is a steal, and I'm giving y'all this for the ones who have not had a chance to book a personal reading with me yet, all right? So, all of that information, guys, on how to contact me via email, as well as my websites, guys, if you want to support by ordering something from the websites, they are in the comment section as well. Okay, it's pinned down below. All right. Until next time, y'all. Ciao.